And here are the materials we'll be using to build our leg press today. So first off, we have a length of dressed pine, which is 70 by 70 mil, and that's 2.4 meters long. We'll be cutting this up for our legs, for our leg press. We have a length of treated pine, which is 4.8 meters long. It's 70 mil by 45 mil. That'll be used for our side supports and our braces. We have two lengths of RHS, which are three meters long. Our first one's 30 mil, and the second one, which will slide over the top of the 30, that's 40 mil. That's 1.2 mil thickness. We have a length of gel pipe, so that's 2.4 meters long. It's 30 mil wide and 1.6 mil thickness. So that'll be used to be connected to our leg press platform and also hold our weight plates. What we'll be using for our platform and our seat is this length of panel. So that's 600 mil wide, it's 30 mil in thickness and it's 2.4 meters long. Now for our fixings, we've got some batten screws here, they're 65 mil long, and we've got some bolts, nuts and washers. So these bolts, they're 100 mil long, and they're 6.5 mil thick. Now the reason why I've chosen the bolts is so if you need to move in the future, the whole leg press can be easily disassembled. And here are the tools we'll be using to build our leg press. Circular saw for cutting up our leg press platform and our seat. A couple of drills for putting everything together, tape measure, angle grinder for cutting up our steel. Now if you've got a hacksaw, you're more than welcome to use that. Got a drill bit for our bolts and obviously a shifter there to tighten our bolts. Our first step today is cutting our legs for our leg press, which we use out of this 70 by 70 dress pine. We want to cut two of those at a metre 30. Following that, we want to cut our bottom and our side supports out of the 70 by 45 treated pine. We want two at 630 and we also want two at a metre 70. After that, we can put it together using these 65 mil batten screws. Let's go to that now. Rightio, so after installing our timber frame, it's now time to cut our steel. We firstly want to cut our 30 mil RHS at 1450 mil and we're going to be wanting two of those. Secondly, we want to cut our 40 mil RHS, and we're going to need two of those at 400 mil. Now guys, remember we're using our angle grinder, so sparks be flying left, right and centre in here. The last thing you want is to be taken to hospital and a bit of metal grinded out of your eye. So make sure we're wearing our PPE. Safety first. Okay, so now it's time to start preparing our seat. Now before we get started cutting our panels, what we first need to do is measure 250 mil from each end. We then need to cut a piece of 70 by 45 mil timber and put that into position using our batten screws. Now the reason for doing this is to maintain that 45 degree angle for our seat. Following that, we need to cut a bit of 70 by 45 mil and connect that to our gel pipe, like so. Then we can install our leg press platform panel. There you have it, guys. 
guys, Elite Press for $150. As you can see, I ended up drilling a series of holes down each side and connected some chain to these pins. Now this enables us to adjust our leg press platform to our desired height. I also installed some bolts at the bottom in case of an emergency, because everyone's worst nightmare is thinking all the leg press weight is going to fall on top of them and squash them. Now before we get started, we want to get our trusty friend WD-40 here and give her a bit of a squirt on each side. So this will allow to really glide like a dream. Now I believe it's leg day. 